are scars that I know you bear, but you hide them well, they're not always clear in the light. Oh, baby, don't hide. I can feel all the fire in you, though your eyes are cold, they still burn right through your disguise. Oh, all of your lies, yeah. I scaled the
are scars that I know you bet, but you hide them well, then are always clear in the light. Yeah. Oh, baby, don't hide. No, I can feel all the fire in you, though your eyes are cold, they still burn right through your disguise. And all of your plenty of ticker we had another three out from the, the five that were missing on Saturday so it was always going to be a tough tough game for us and obviously we've got to back up in about 40 hours time to play Merrimack on Saturday so we'll see how we how we get through that we were cruising the first 35 minutes one nil up creating plenty of chances a couple of soft goals we didn't clear the ball one of the decisions you know well I'm not going to comment on that but um yeah look we put ourselves under pressure really really proud of the way that the lads fought back to two all again dead set penalty not given straight down the other end, penalty given, and 3-2 we're up against it, so 10 to go for the lads to pull out the victory, I'm really, really proud of them, so hopefully we can back up and get the job done on Saturday as well. Well, look, our game plan was to, to go out and attack, as I've said in previous interviews, we haven't been getting the goals I think we deserve. Um, look, we put ourselves under pressure for the first goal, a soft, you know, a free kick for the second goal and a penalty for the third goal, so you know, probably a little bit harsh to score line. I, I thought we were fairly comfortable at the back, to be honest, but look, good to get four goals, I think four different goal scorers, so um, we'll build on that and hopefully... Uh, Bang a few in on the weekend as well. So, so. first 90 minutes, my um, first time in um, first grade for a couple of years since I had my knee Rico, but it shows, um, I suppose, how many injuries we, we do have for me to be having a, having a play. But um, hopefully, over the coming weeks, we'll get a few lads back. But a lot, of, unfortunately, a lot of the injuries are longer term, so we'll see how we go. That was superb today. Very unlucky, I thought. Um, it's, it's, it's hard to take that, that loss. I think we were in the game for probably 80 minutes, and then a couple of lapses, and then result. Yeah, it's good to get a score sheet for the lads. Um, yeah, it's, it's still hard to take, I guess. 100% um, difference on the weekend where we lost 3-0, but um, still definitely some improvement to be made there, I think. I think it's a, a lapse of concentration, and I think fitness is a bit of the key. Um, you know, the lads put it in each week, but um, we've got some big boys that seem to struggle in the last 15 of the game, and um, I think we've got to address that. I think yeah. we've definitely got to look at how we're going to adjust to, to A, get them fitter, and B, keep the game where it is and win the game. So.